But on this channel, we talk about music. I think. Hey everybody, how's it going? I wasn't going to do a music video reaction for this song because I'm really busy and I don't really know the group, but somebody sent it to me and they were like, you need, need to do a music video reaction for this song. So I was like, okay, and I clicked the link and I still wasn't going to do it, but then I found this gem. Fistar returns with a twist. Watch Fistar's new MV and super upgraded music and looks. And I'm just going... What does that even mean? I get the song part, it's like, okay, it's an upgraded song, it's better than your other songs, but upgraded looks? Like, what should I be expecting here? I don't even know. So anyway, basically what happened is I was sitting here and asking myself, how could I not do a reaction for a song that has super upgraded everything? Whatever marketing person wrote that, fine, you win, you got my attention, I'm gonna check out the song, but I do have to say that now I have insanely high expectations for whatever music and looks this song might provide. So let's just take a moment to witness how this piece of art can super upgrade and enrich our lives. Alright, here we go. It's kind of laid back, but it's a cool arrangement and the vocals are good. No, no. 
Sounds fantastic. Okay, um, for a song that boldly claimed to be super upgraded at, like, everything, uh, I really wasn't disappointed in it. I thought the song was really good. Although I don't think people will probably be talking as much about how super upgraded the song was compared to how super upgraded their military-grade Space Age Materials magic pants were. But on this channel, we talk about music. I think. But really, the song was actually very good. At first listen, it seems kind of just generic and laid back and not really too exciting. You know, you've probably heard something like it before. Um, but there are a lot of really cool things going on. And it did trick me because I thought that the first time I listened to it, but after listening to it a few more times, and no, I didn't just listen to it a few more times just so I could watch the music video again. It actually surprised me and there are a lot of really cool things going on. So let's jump back in and check some of those out. Not sure what this... I guess that's the cover, okay. It's kind of weird to put it at the beginning. Really great acoustic guitar. Extremely high quality recording. I just really like the tonality of it. It's not boomy, it's not overly scratchy and bright. See, this part of the song, it's... You know, you've heard this a thousand times before. Um, so it's easy to kind of get in that mindset and just not listen for the cool things going on. The thing I do like, they really match the vocals to the feeling of the song. They didn't over sing it, which happens a lot with power vocalists especially. Um, they matched the sort of laid back feeling of the song perfectly and smoothed out the tone of their voice. And the other thing where you really notice that are in the backing vocals. The backing vocals were actually excellent. I'm extremely impressed. And then the cool songwriting thing at the end of the phrases where they turn the chords, just tweak it a little bit. Listen for that coming up here. Very cool little turn there. I actually like this rap. Again, like everything else in this song, nothing's overdone, it just fits into the song. Listen also in the percussion track here. They add a lot of extra stuff going on. Just to up the intensity, up the interest. And listen here specifically for the backing vocals. Try to ignore the lead. stop it right here. Usually it's only groups like Girls Generation, Sistar, AOA, or Secret, some of the really good vocal groups that have this kind of high quality background vocals. And I'm actually really impressed with Star on this because the caliber of their background vocals, and it's not just the way it's mixed or the way it was arranged, but the actual way that they're performing it and singing it, it just blends extremely well into the track and it doesn't overpower the lead vocal and just tonally, like timber-wise, everything just sits really, really nicely. And usually I only notice that kind of attention to detail on the really top tier groups. For example, like with Super Junior, I talk about that a lot with them, how they just know how to sing the right background vocals and lead vocals to fit the song. And although it might sound a little bit underwhelming at first because of the style of this song, Star is really impressing me with their ability to do that too. So. Let's keep going, listen for that. The acoustic guitar is just, it sounds like the guy's sitting right in front of me playing it. Or girl, I don't know. The other thing I really like about this song, it is not crushed to death. Um, there's actually some dynamics and space in the master. Um, it's a little quieter than a lot of the releases that you might expect. And I can't figure out if 
but it's like classy or not quite. I think it is. It's like it's a little bit of both, but it's a good mix. I can appreciate this. Um, I don't really know a lot of their older stuff, so I don't know if this could be called super upgraded based on their older material. Um, but I definitely like this as it sits. Uh, maybe you guys can let me know if you think this is like way better than all the other songs they've done. The song was actually a lot better than I expected that it would be. And I think they actually may have gotten away with their bold claim of this being a super upgraded song and music video because it was a good enough quality song and music video that it wasn't just completely laughable when they posted that. So overall I liked it. A uh, really good song tonally. I liked the acoustic guitar. The vocals actually really impressed me. I think there's actually a lot more that they can do because if they can put that much quality into a song that's so vocally subdued, um, that would probably indicate that they can do a lot more with a song that really lets their vocals shine. So I'll be looking for those. If you guys could post links to your favorite five star songs, maybe something a little more upbeat or vocally challenging, I would love to check those out, so let me know. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this music video reaction slash review. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, sharing this video all over the place really helps us out. I'll see you guys next time.